hope you're watching South West London television with me, Keith Maynard. And you know what? There are some days when I wake up, I roll out of bed, and I have to pinch myself that I'm getting paid to do a job that I love, particularly when it's this, the London Pet Show at Earl's Court Arena. I've been looking forward to this all year. So let's go and find out about the London Pet Show 2014. So I'm here with a man that needs no introduction, Mr. Ben Fogel, who's an animal lover extraordinaire. Ben, tell us about your love affair of animals. How, how did it start? I mean, well, my dad is a vet, so I grew up surrounded by animals. I grew up above his veterinary clinic. So as well as our family pets, we had animals that were in overnight. They wouldn't stay down in the kennels. They'd be up in our part of the house. And, and, and I've had a lifelong obsession with animals. And, and they really changed my life. This is Brody, and at the moment he's only 12 weeks old, three months. And unbelievably, it takes 18 months to train Brody into a police dog that's gonna go and work the streets and keep everyone safe. He's got a long journey ahead of him. So this apparently is a royal python called Sheila the Royal Python. It's a really funny feeling. Soft but scaly at the same time. And is this a dangerous python? Not at all. So this is Alfie and he's a six month old barn owl and he's looking at this mite like it could quite be food. <laughs> and we're here at the Hawking Centre. Whereabouts is the Hawking Centre based? Just outside Maidstone. In Kent and people can come along and they can hold birds and... Uh, fly birds around the estate. We're based on a 700 acre estate that we've got free roam of so um, with a nice formal gardens and places like that. So we do use all the birds around the gardens. have quite a range in valerium toys. What are valerium toys? The, these? Extra large valerium rats. They've got valerium in the bum. So I'm here with Jacob and Daniel, border terriers, and nine months old and two years old. And these are show dogs. You, you show them all over the UK. Would you recommend them as, a, as an ideal pet for people? Yes, they are. Lovely family dog. The only thing you have to watch with them is a notorious escapers. And of course, there are lots of charities represented at this fantastic event. Amongst them, Wet Nose Animal Aid. We've got Red Nose Day, we've got Comic Relief, we've got all these fabulous things on the TV, and they're great things to raise money for, but nobody does it for the animals. And the animals can't talk, so we have to talk for them. to the end of National Rabbit Week, Rabbit Awareness Week, where we've been trying to get the message across about improving the quality of life for rabbits. I'm here with Taz and Hopalong Holly uh, for a fresh start for hens. And in June, is it you've got 3,000 hens to rehome? And just very quickly, give us a couple of benefits of, of having a hen as a pet. Fun to keep, they provide you with delicious eggs, which are much more nicer than a shop bought. Um, and they're just good for ha having in the garden, keeping the slugs down, just fun, just love them to bits. Wow, it's been a fantastic, absolutely exhausting and exhilarating weekend here at Ells Court with the London Pet Show 2014. If you didn't get a chance to make it this year, you really must attend next year. There's been crazy pig racing, there's been all, si all sorts of competitions, there's been uh, goose herding and things like that. I've got to hold pythons, I've got to have my face licked by a dog. I've met a future police dog, which was really, really cute. And I've even had the chance to turn down holding a tarantula. And I'm never, ever going to hold a tarantula. You heard it here. You've been watching Keith Maynard and South West London TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more excellent reports. And keep supporting us as we report to you about everything that goes on in and around London. Thanks for watching.